so okay good afternoon guys like i told us this is the art wire that everyone will be asking for um we need needle thread quinoline and this is the alice band and then um, what again okay i did not mention two things that's the felt this felt and then um, the glue gun but it's i think it's um, it's optional depending on what you want to do okay now i'm going to show us how to wrap this art wire we need a thread now the measurement for this i usually go for a very small small fascinator i'm a small fascinator fan so the measurement for this one is um okay it's 24 so i'm using 24 for this so now all you need to do you just fold it like this like into each other and then you tie it with your thread you tie it properly with your thread you go on and on and on and tie Now, when you're done tying, you just, um, when you're done rolling, you simply knot it, so it will not have to, it will not have to remove, and when you're done, you just cut out the excesses, okay, so, after that, now, I couldn't get, um, the heel gum, so i opted for this this is um shoemaker gum because we learn how to make shoes as well so i always have this gum at home so all i did i spread i spread the gum all over the bias so i simply did i spread the gum all over the bias and i guess this one really lasts longer than um, the heel gum but we'll have to wait for some minutes for it to dry a little before we'll start applying it on the wire. Now, this is how you place it on the wire. In the middle, in the middle of these narrow edges, you place it and you start sticking it all together like this. Like this. And that's how you go on and on till you get to this place okay thank you now this is how we finally arrived at this then when you're done with it I'm, I'm making a fascinating for a little child and the mom opted for a, a pink one because the girl of course surely it's really a girl so we'll just place it we place our brain. We we'll place our brain. You will give like um okay. I think it, it will not sit properly. Let me remove this board. Let me show you now. Okay. So you place your brain and give it allowance of um, six to seven inches, six to seven inches here, six to seven inches here. Just give them six to seven inches so you'll be able to roll it properly. Now this is my six to seven inches, so I will simply cut it out. I will 
simply cut it out and then join it like this. So this is how you do it. You make sure all assemble at the middle. Please don't forget that. Make sure all assemble at the middle. And while doing it, you just be adjusting and adjusting and adjusting. Now, the tighter it is, the more bent it will be for you. So it depends on how you want it. Now you see some fascinators, they come so bent that they look like this. But I don't think I want my one to be too bent because that wasn't the that wasn't what the woman requested for. So I think I will not make mine too too tight. Now I think this is okay for me because I already made um, the the crinoline for it. I I made this in a pictorial form and it's be on my page. You just go there, you take your time. And you view the pictures, it's not so difficult. Why I didn't make it for us in this video, I didn't even want the video to be very lengthy, so you don't have to um have to download and waste your end because we we'll still have a lot of things to do. So after this, we'll just simply tie we'll simply tie it like this. So you tie it on and on, you just go and tie and tie, you make sure it's your time is firm. So when you are done tying, you will knot it like I just did here. Okay, so we are done knotting it. Now, this is the idea of it. This is it. When you're done, you can still... The net is flexible and the wire is as well. So you can just bend it to the area where you want it to be. And you simply cut out these excesses because I think we don't need it anymore. Now can we all see this? Now this is um, the idea of it. The next thing is to apply, is to fix our crinoline flower on it. Now for those who have feathers, you just maneuver and find a way how on how you put it. I think it's okay for me like this. So I'll just simply use uh, on my on my hue gun, wow. I'll on my hue gun, yes, and I will simply place it here and I apply it gradually on it. Now, this is the felt, they call it gum stay. You can get at the tailor shop, half yard, they can give you. You usually we usually use it for the Alice band to make the place to me. I, I usually use it to make it very look very neat anyway. Now all you do you apply the glue gun when it's hot the the gum just comes out by itself. Now I'm done applying it. I'll off it and drop. And I will just do make something like this. And we are almost done. It's our fascinator. And like I said about the fascinator, you can make it as big as you want. I like small sizes. That's why I opted for this one. So whichever one you want, whichever size you want, you can make it for yourself. So 
in beautifying it it's your choice if you want to add pearls pearls on the fascinators you can add and if you don't want to it's not a must now for the alice band this is where you place the alice band you will not place the alice band at the middle because the fascinator comes to this side or this side now you just go towards this side and place it So this is it. This is how it will be. This is how the Alice band will be. Now your fell, your fell to come next. To make it look very neat, you apply the glue gun on your felt. And you make something like this. Can you see this? At least it's neater. Don't worry, it's funny because it's not um, stiff yet. It's falling because it's not stiff yet. So when it stiffens, when it um, when it no longer hot, it will stiffen, and you will get your fascinator. So I think I will still apply white pearls to this and this side and this side with this side as well to make it look more sharp. It's for a baby, so it needs to look flashy. So you just want to apply the pearl here, pearl here, pearl here, and pearl here, and we are done. So thank you very much for watching. This is the Alice band, and the picture will be on my page for those who want a picture of it. For those who want a picture of it, the page, the picture will be on the page, and um, and that's all. See you next time for another sample for I think crinoline fascinator. God bless you. Bye.